Hey there, it's Sarah from the No More Wasted Days podcast, and I'm coming at you today with a shorty episode. I'm going to be talking all about four reasons why being alcohol-free is my superpower. And whether you are new to your alcohol-free journey or farther along, this episode is going to supercharge you on your journey. If you're farther along and you're just feeling kind of low or you've lost that connection to why being alcohol-free is so important to you, this is going to reinvigorate you. And if you're brand new and you're feeling like, oh my gosh, this is really hard, this is going to keep you super connected to why you started this journey. Before we dive in, I want to invite you to download my alcohol-free checklist if you haven't already. This checklist is going to set you up with all the tools and strategies you need so you are ready to start your alcohol-free journey. It is perfect for people who are new to their journey, but I have also heard from others that are farther along that they downloaded the checklist and it helped them so much. The link to that checklist is just in the show notes of this podcast. So head to the show notes and click the link for the alcohol-free checklist. You can actually do it while you're listening to the podcast, and it'll be totally uninterrupted as you're listening. And that alcohol-free checklist will be sent to you while you're listening to the podcast episode. All right, let's dive into this topic. I am super excited about this because if you're listening to this episode on the day that it airs, Friday, November 1st, it is actually my 1,999th day of being alcohol-free. Oh my gosh, I have been waiting to hit that 2,000-day mark now for a while, and I am beyond excited that tomorrow I will be hitting it. And I've got to tell you, October has been stressful. Now, there hasn't been a moment in October when I have wanted to drink, but I will tell you that the stress of October has been a little overwhelming at times. I have been dealing with some anxiety that's crept back to my life that I really haven't had for the longest time on my alcohol-free journey. But knowing that I'm going to hit this huge milestone tomorrow, if you're listening on November 1st, has really pushed and motivated me. Now, another thing that motivates me is getting really in touch with why I stay on this alcohol-free journey. Why is being alcohol-free something that is so important to me? And that's why I came up with these four reasons that being alcohol-free is my superpower. It was really hard to choose just four. I could have chosen so many. So maybe I'll do this as an extension episode later on. Maybe four more reasons why being alcohol-free is my superpower. But for today, we are sticking to four. All right. Here I go. Number one, being alcohol-free makes me a better parent, wife, sister, and daughter. Being alcohol-free truly makes me better at relationships. I was a really grumpy mom that wasn't present when I was a drinker. I would have my wine or whatever drink I was going to have that day while I was cooking dinner, and then I would keep that rolling into dinner time with the kids and then chores with the kids after dinner and then into the nighttime routine. And I got to tell you, I always thought that having my drink would make me more calm, make me more relaxed. It did not. When I quit drinking, I found out that I was so much more patient when I wasn't drinking. Also, I wasn't thinking about my alcohol. I wasn't sitting there being like, God, could this nighttime routine just be over already? Because I just want to get back to my drinking. I don't have to think things like that now. I just get to hang out with my kids in the evening and be present with them and be so much more patient with them. So that's definitely number one for me. Now, I also mentioned that it makes me a better parent, wife, sister, and daughter. So let me dive into those other three relationships. I was really nitpicky with my husband when I drank. I was somebody who would see that sponge in the sink and freak out on him. Oh, pro tip, just get rid of sponges. That's how I solved that problem. <laughs> but there were just little things. And when I would drink, I would believe that I was speaking my truth, that I could finally have the filter taken away and tell him all the things that I thought he was doing wrong. But then the next day, I would wake up and be like, oh my gosh, I really unloaded on my husband last night. I'm not even 100% sure what I said to him. And then I'd still have to act kind of grumpy with him the next morning. And sometimes I didn't even know why. Those things never happen anymore. It is so nice. When there is something I need to talk to him about, I can actually do it. And I can actually come to him with a clear mind and speak to him in a calm way. 
And we can have a cool conversation where we get to the root of a problem and work to fix it as a couple. It is so much better now. As far as my relationship with my sister goes, I never bail on plans anymore. I used to bail on plans with my sister all the time because I would be too hungover or I wanted to stay home and drink. But now I can make plans with people and stick to them. That goes to everybody, my sister, my friends. I'm just better at staying committed to what I say I'm going to do. The last one, my parents. I never communicated with my parents towards the end of my drinking. It was embarrassing. It was shameful that I didn't call them. I barely texted them. I basically posted pictures of my kids on Facebook and knew that that's how my parents could see the kids. I can't even believe that that is who I was, but it is. A lot of times I was too hungover. I didn't want to talk to my parents because I didn't want to deal with communicating through the hangover or I was drinking and I wanted to drink and I didn't want them to hear that I was buzzed on the phone. So I just didn't chat with them. Now I text my parents almost every single day and they actually moved here earlier this week and are going to be living now 15 minutes away from me instead of 2000 miles like they used to. Our relationship has improved so much, and I can't even tell you how good that makes me feel because my parents are older, so to get to be a part of their life in their older age and in my midlife is so important to me, and I am so glad that alcohol no longer stands in the way of that. All right, let's move on to reason number two, why being alcohol-free is my superpower. Number two, I'm more confident. I truly trust now that I will figure things out. As a drinker, I would stew about things. I would overthink decisions that I needed to make. And now I am just so confident in myself and I trust my intuition more that I actually can make decisions on big things. I also make a promise to myself every day that I won't drink. And I've kept that promise for 1,999 days now. That creates some major trust in myself. Just making that very simple promise each day and keeping that promise has created so much confidence in myself. It's amazing. I used to hear people talk about, if you want to be more confident in yourself, keep promises to yourself. And it didn't make sense to me until I quit drinking. The other thing I don't do is I don't fall down while I'm drunk anymore, so I trust my body more. I feel more confident in my body. I'm not hungover anymore, so I have confidence that I can actually make plans and keep them. And when I was hungover, I would be filled with self-doubt. I would be riddled with anxiety when I was hungover. I don't have to deal with that anymore. And that makes a person more confident. And I also know now that I don't say dumb stuff to people that I won't remember. Like (laughs) having that peace of mind helps me stay more confident. There are so many other reasons why being alcohol-free makes me more confident. But I truly think the number one thing is that I make that promise to myself every single morning that I'm not gonna drink. And then I keep that promise. And I have rolled that over into other areas of my life. I make the promise with myself that I'm gonna meditate five days a week. I keep that promise. I make the promise to myself that I'm gonna weight train five days a week. I keep that promise. It has just snowballed into more and more areas. And I am so much more confident in myself. And the other part of it is really that I think more clearly. I can trust my thoughts. I know they're not hungover thoughts. I know they're not drunk thoughts. And I know that I can problem solve issues and I can take on big things. All right. Reason number three why being alcohol free is my superpower. I have more money and more time to do things. When you have some more money in your pocketbook and more time to focus on things that you really enjoy, you become more confident. I used to spend around $175 a month on alcohol. I was a pretty thrifty drinker. I'm pretty thrifty in all areas of my life. So if you're hearing that and saying, whoa, that's really low, because for whatever reason, when I share this on social media, people do like to tell me that I clearly wasn't spending enough on alcohol (laughs) to have a drinking problem. But I know that people listening to this podcast don't have that issue with me, but I just had to put that out there. But to date, I have saved over $10,000 by not drinking. And my husband has saved the same amount. So as a couple, we have saved over $20,000 by not drinking. That boosts my confidence because I would open my bank account and see, oops, I overdrew my account. I, I'm i in the red. Uh, I got to figure out that money. And it would really bring me down. 
But now that never happens to me anymore. My husband and I have been able to afford to do some pretty cool things with these savings. It has definitely helped us with the dream of building our house. And it has definitely helped us feel more confident when we're making big purchases that we can do it. Now, obviously, you take that money you're saving and you do spend it on other things like non-alcoholic drinks, but I don't spend the money on non-alcoholic drinks that I spent on alcohol. I had no budget for alcohol. I didn't even think about it. If I wanted it, I bought it. The other thing I'm saving that just makes being alcohol-free feel like my superpower is time. I wasted so much time on drinking. I wasted so much time on being hungover. I lost time on blackouts. Like there's time that I'll just never get back. But now I have that time. And guess what? Time is a non-renewable resource for us. I no longer waste it. And I love that for me. My weekends consist of relaxing now, household chores, and fun. Like I can fit it all in. And I feel like I used to have weekends and be like, oh my gosh, they're flying by too fast. I can't get everything done. I also have time to get things done in the evening, which was just totally blocked out for me to drink as a drinker. There was no getting things done in the evening. Now I can actually sit down, get things done, fill out paperwork for my kids if I need to, just hang out and be present with my kids. Time is totally on my side now that I'm not wasting it to alcohol. Okay, we're on to reason number four of why being alcohol-free is my superpower. I'm healthier. I am just a healthier version of myself in every single way. Physical, mental, emotional, every part of me is healthier because I choose not to drink each day. Before I quit drinking, I had my cholesterol checked at one of my yearly visits with my doctor, and it was so high. And I ate pretty healthy and I worked out even as a drinker. I still did those things and I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. She even kind of asked, like, is there any reason why this may be? And I was like, oh, I can't think of anything. Well, I had been drinking heavily every day that summer and I was like, oh my gosh, could it be that? And then I went home and I researched it and yeah, drinking can make your cholesterol high. And I was like, oh my gosh. Well, guess what? The next year when I went back and I had been alcohol free, my cholesterol went down. I hadn't changed my diet because it was already pretty healthy. It was like magic. It was such a cool thing. I've also seen the positive benefits of not being hung over. It helps me eat healthier throughout the weekend. It helps make me be more active throughout the weekend. I work out and I can really push myself because I used to have minor hangovers in the morning and now I don't have a hangover in the morning. So I can really push myself during my workouts. Along with that, mentally and emotionally, I am so much healthier. Mentally, I don't have that brain fog anymore. I can sit down, I can make a list for the day, and I can really be focused. I can sit down and say, this is what I need to do today and really clearly make my plan. It helps me so much. I can write emails more quickly. I can respond to my kids' teachers more quickly. It just has brought out so many different things in me. And I have taken on challenges that I never would have taken on as a drinker. Building a house has been super challenging and there's a lot of math involved, something that I was not expecting. But I have been so impressed at how me and my husband have both been able to figure it out and take it on. And lastly, emotionally, I am so much more healthy. I process my emotions now. I am experiencing some anxiety right now in my life. But what I love about it is that I know that alcohol is not the problem. I can sit down and say, okay, what other things can I do to help with this anxiety? But I don't pin up emotions anymore. I don't bottle things up. I actually let them flow through me. So it is just such a healthier way to live. And I just feel better. Man, I used to feel low as a drinker and I could never pinpoint it because I would be like, well, I work out, I eat healthy, I do all these things. The drinking was really dragging me down. The alcohol was dragging me down, and now I feel so much better. So those are my four reasons why being alcohol-free is my superpower. But now it's your turn. Why is being alcohol-free your superpower? I would love to hear from you. You can screenshot this podcast and go share it in your Instagram stories and tag me and say, the reason why being alcohol-free is my superpower is, and you can pick something. Maybe it's mental focus or enjoying the things that you used to love or letting go of the little things or speaking up for yourself in a healthier way. There are just so many things that happen when we're alcohol-free and when we choose to really start seeing those things and being pro 
proactive about finding those things, you really start to see how amazing it is that you can choose to ditch one thing in your life, alcohol, and so many other amazing opportunities happen for you. I hope that you're starting to see that as well. And if you're struggling on your journey, just know that you are not alone. And I have tools and resources available that can help you. One of those is the alcohol-free checklist. So if you haven't done it already while you've been listening to this episode, head to the show notes and click the link and download that free alcohol-free checklist. And I will send you a list that will help you be all set up to take on your alcohol-free journey with confidence. Okay, that wraps up this shorty episode of the No More Wasted Days podcast. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to this podcast and give us a rating. We are so close to 100 ratings on Apple Podcasts. It would be so cool to have that happen before our one year anniversary, which is coming up at the end of November. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll be in your ear in the next episode.